Okay, so what we got here is a Sonoff TH10. I've already taken it out of its case. And unfortunately, I've already removed the relay. So you won't be able to see me remove it. But all I used was a simple solder sucker to remove the heat up and then remove the solder and then free the relay because what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a relay that did not have any chance of AC um, getting in contact with the contacts so I've taken a couple of the legs these are the the two legs that uh, enable that energize the relay and I've bent them over like that and the reason for that is so that I can mount them like so and I'm just gonna solder that in like that and uh, then I'll have the two these two are the contacts completely isolated from the rest of the circuit so I can safely run my project. So first thing to do is get that solder on there. Make sure that's sitting flush to the circuit board so I'm just getting the first one started making sure it's sitting flush that's good and then I'll heat up the other pad also making sure that that's sitting flush I'm just gonna Push the relay down, make sure it's sitting nice and tight. And that looks like, looks good. So uh, what I've done is I've taken an old Sonoff version 1. This is one now, uh, I also removed the relay on this one. But uh, this one's not working, so I'm using it as a donor. I just wanted this connector. I'm going to mount this on top. On here somewhere. So that uh, I have access to those two wires going to the relay. So I'll solder some wires on there. And connect it to the connector once I run them through the top of this. I'm just going to go ahead and pre-tin leads here for on the relay for the contacts. Get it at a better angle here. And I've pre-tinned some wires here. And I'll just heat that up and attach them. Try to do without too much effort here.
I'll put some fresh solder on there because I think I've got some bad solder joint there happening. A lot harder to do when you're trying to do it on camera. I'm going to go and incorporate my helping hand, see if I can do a little bit better job. I wasn't happy with those connections. Looks a lot better. I'm just gonna put some heat shrink on there. Good. Now, don't want the wires to interfere with the the button there or the lights, but maybe just over here. So I don't want the wires to be too long, but gotta have a bit of slack. So maybe about there. And that would put the connector right over here. So I'm just going to get a drill bit and quickly drill that out. Oh, just right on the end of the F there, eh? So I'm just going to eyeball where these holes need to go. And I think these holes might be a little bit on the small side too. I was hoping that they'd be a little bit bigger for the solder. Just 
just kind of use the other leg of the wind to mark the hole. Try to get it half decent straight there. Not straight, but you know, it's got a bit of play there, so. We can straighten it out when we glue it. Okay. Not a lot of leads hanging down there. It's not going to be enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill that out a little bit bigger. So that was a 16th inch diameter. This is a 1 8th diameter. Drill bit. Nice. Now I can run the wires through. Actually, I'm going to mount it to the base first. So that I can snap together with the wires through and then push the wires back down. So it would have been nicer if these wires were longer. <laughs> Hindsight 2020. Okay. There we are. So we'll solder those leads, just tin them, and this will be done. And I don't know if any of you noticed, but there was a header pins on the programming ports. I did tasmoticize this uh, TH unit. We got some good solder on there.
so far that went better. Well, there's a bit of a blob of solder there, but I think that'll do. At least it's connected. So, I'll just glue that in place. And this part is done. So I've got some PL Premium. Just going to get a little bit on a, the end here. Doesn't take a lot. 